The Coalition of Human Rights Groups has accused the government of Benue's state of misleading Nigerians about the true circumstances which led to the death of alleged notorious criminal Tewase Akwaza alias Ghana. Special rep reporter of the group, uh, Edward Omaga, while addressing journalists at the launch of its finding after a preliminary investigation, noted that evidence gathered proved that indeed the disease Ghana engaged men of the Nigerian army while on his way to the state capital, Makodi. Omaga then called on Nigerians to see the neutralization of Ghana as a win in the nation's fight against insecurity, armed banditry, and kidnapping. Benway that led to the killing of uh, uh, AK Ghana. And uh, what the position is, is, uh, is that Nigerians are being misled, you know, especially by the state government of Benue State. Why do I say so? This is a governor who granted amnesty to the same Ghana of blessed memory to remove and submit all his catchy of arms and then relinquish uh, terrorism and banditry in the state. A bounty of 10 million naira was placed on his head from 2016 to date, whoever can find him will get a 10 million naira reward. And so it, it, the governor himself has been in search of this young man who has killed several people. Ghana that we know killed women, he killed children, he killed security officers, he killed everybody. He kidnapped and all that for ransom. And so when he was taken away uh, by the military because of the gunshot that happened, the gun battle that happened between them, anybody who is saying uh, he could have been taken to court, he could have been prosecuted. Mm -hmm. That person is only pretending. You are pretending, the person is pretending because you cannot negotiate with terrorists. You cannot bring such a person to begin to talk about human rights. We are human rights lawyers here. But what we are saying is, between the government of Benue State and between the Nigerian army and, and the analysis that they are giving, our report has shown that the army is telling us the truth.